Regardless of how you use the Engage PhD software, these basic training steps will help you in getting started with the Engage PhD software. When logging into the software for the first time, you will be provided with a temporary password that you will need to change as part of your initial login. This temporary password should have been provided by your Engage PhD representative. If you have not yet received your login information, please contact your Engage PhD representative. If you've forgotten your password after your initial login, you can click on the Forgot Password link from the main sign-in page. Part of the initial login is a security process which involves a security email that will be sent to your email address. You will need to approve your browser to complete your login. You will need to change your temporary password the first time you log in. This step is mandatory to complete the login process. Once the login process is complete, you will see the home page dashboard and navigation on the left-hand side of the page. This is what you will see each time you log into the software. We recommend the Google Chrome browser for the best overall experience. If you're an admin user for your account and you need to add additional users, click on the Users icon from the navigation bar. When setting up additional users, you may require that those users are set up with only access to certain sections of the software. From the Knowledge Base, search for Adding New Users. From here, you will see different levels of user access, and this will also have complete steps of how to set up those additional users. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account representative. You will find our help desk email, toll-free telephone number, and our contact form and chat from the support pages of the Knowledge Base. We also have more advanced options for enhanced user roles, which allows you to set up user access with very restricted access to only certain sections of the software. For more information on how to turn on this feature, please contact your Engage PhD representative or the Help Desk team. When you're ready, click the button below this video to advance to the next section or select another topic.